Okay, this is a brief tutorial on solubility rules. And this this is simply just to cover solubility rules and which ions are soluble and insoluble. So hopefully this chart can help you uh, remember. So there's a mnemonic that students like to use and it's called cash, cash in Gia. Um, and, uh, this is, I, th I think this is the, uh, the most complete that I can make this and I'll try to include the exceptions as well. So what Cash and Gia tells you are the soluble polyatomic ions. So if it's one of these, it will be soluble. So... And if it's not one of these, so Cash and Gia also tells you what's insoluble, because if it's not one of these, then it should be insoluble. So here's what the C stands for. It stands for chlorates. Um, and these are, I'll put a black star saying these are super soluble. There are no exceptions, at least that I know about. Okay, um, the A stands for acetates. So if you have like iron acetate, um, lead acetate, calcium acetate, whatever acetate, it will be soluble, meaning it dissolves in water. So this one, and again, there are no exceptions. Sulfates is S. And this one, we have some exceptions. So I'll make this one a red star. And the exceptions are... If you have a lead sulfate, it's actually insoluble. Uh, mercury, the polyatomic mercury, Hg2, 2 plus, or silver. And you'll see that these three ions, metal ions, are also exception for halides, too. Um, another exception, though, for sulfates are group 2. below row 2, meaning uh, calcium sulfate is insoluble, uh, strontium sulfate is insoluble, and barium sulfate is insoluble. Okay, next we have, in Cash and Gia, we have the, the H, which are halides. So these are the ion form of the halogens, and there are uh, exceptions to this one as well. the exceptions to the halides are the same as the sulfates. So this is Pb2+, Hg2+, and Ag+. Um, I'll put another star here because this does not include fluoride. So F- anions are insoluble. Okay, the N stands for nitrates. And these are, I'll write super, meaning they're like all soluble that I know of. The G1 here, it stands for group one, group one cations. So lithium, sodium, potassium, cesium. Okay, so that means if you have one of these and they're with an anion that's not on Cash and Gia, then it will be soluble. So for example, generally phosphates are insoluble. However, if you have sodium phosphate, it is soluble. Okay, so the group one will make an anion that's ordinarily insoluble. It will make it soluble. And the A stands for ammonium, which is NH4+. Plus. Okay, so if you have a group one or ammonium with a anion that's typically insoluble, it makes it soluble. So carbonates, it's not in Cash and Gia. 
So those are generally insoluble carbonate, like calcium carbonate, insoluble. However, if you have um, ammonium carbonate, since it's ammonium and that A, all these stand for soluble, this will be soluble. Okay, and that's uh, one more, actually there's one more point to make. And that is uh, sulfide ions are insoluble except, and this is a real, this comes up, this is why I'm writing it that now. So um, sulfide ions are insoluble except for uh, group 1. A and group two um, and ammonium. Okay, so that's those are the soluble uh, solubility rules. Um, next. So before we start writing net ionic equations, it's important to go over these. So spend some time, um, maybe make some flashcards, but it, 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 it might be helpful to actually look at this one. Or actually, when you're deciding if something is soluble, I have kind of like a checklist, a mental checklist. The so first thing is to ask, is it a group 1A or ammonium? OK, so let me write down a few examples. So if I have, let's say I have uh, this, let's say I have FeC2H3O2, to iron acetate. Okay, now I want to know, is this soluble or not? Okay, so first of all, is it a group, is it a group one or ammonium? The answer is no. The cation is Fe, so the answer is no. Okay, is the anion from Cash and Gia? The answer is yes, it's acetate. Um, the next question is, is it one of the exceptions? How are acetates? Did that have any exceptions? So if we go back to our our slide here, acetates had no exceptions. So the answer is no, it's not one of the exceptions. So this is soluble. Okay, let's try just a couple. Let's try just a couple more of these. So let's say you we have um, let's say we have cobalt hydroxide, and then we ask, is this um, is this compound soluble? So first we ask. Um, is it group one or ammonium? So from our checklist here, uh, no, it's cobalt. So the answer is no to our first question. The next question is the anion from Cash and Gia. Is it a carbonate, acetate, sulfate, a halide, nitrate? Um, this we already checked for actually is actually from number one. Okay, is what we actually checked for here. So is it one of these? The answer is again no. It's hydroxide, which is not in cash in. It's not this first part. Is it when and actually we don't even have to answer this question because it's it's not even in cash and geo. So this compound is insoluble. It does not dissolve in water. So go through your list before attempting the next slide, the practice questions on the next slide. Go through your list and um see if you uh Try try to even maybe maybe make flashcards or try to memorize them, and then see if you can use this checklist also. Okay, and then try these for example for uh, practice. Okay, and just decide if these are going to be soluble or not. So A through I.